Welcome to QuickTile's tutorial on performing a tolerance analysis. This is the second of a series of instructional videos geared toward making engineers proficient with QTA and tolerance analyses. Today's topic focuses on bonus tolerance and how to properly account for it in an analysis. You can follow along with this tutorial if you download the tool at www.quicktile.com. There's a link in the information section. There's a free trial of the premium version of this tool and there's also a free version of the tool that has many of the features we'll be using today. Let's get started. So what is bonus tolerance? Bonus tolerance is an extra bit of tolerance allowed for a feature based on its size. Most of us are familiar with the maximum material modifier, which we'll talk about. The circle M shown here ties the hole's position and size together. If the hole is created at its maximum material condition, or smallest diameter, it is permitted only five thousandths of position. That's what the circle there means. But if the hole is created at a larger size, it's permitted bonus, or extra tolerance. For every unit the size deviates from the MMC size, it's allowed an extra unit of tolerance. So a hole that is ten thousandths of an inch larger than the maximum material size is allowed to have a positional tolerance of its original five thousandths plus that ten thousandths bonus. The purpose of using such a system promotes easier fit during assembly and it also provides some flexibility in manufacturing if it's properly specified, but that's a separate discussion. The question here is how do we account for this interrelationship between hole size and position in a tolerance analysis? Let's take an overly simple example of a mounting hole on a plate that comes near the edge. If we wanted to know the wall thickness at the edge of the hole, we would need to tackle the bonus tolerance question head on. A view of the drawing shows the mounting hole with a positional tolerance from the edge of the plate with an MMC modifier. I'm intentionally showing a flatness of zero here on datum B just so that we don't have to deal with the imperfections of that surface. We'll save that for a different video. Now the distance from datum B to the center of the hole is 250 thousandths. But what's the tolerance? Well, 5 thousandths according to the drawing, but it also depends on the size of the hole. We're showing the nearly completed tolerance analysis in QTA. The only part missing is the tolerance for the hole position. We can construct an equation in the tolerance cell that depends on or references the hole size. Here we're showing the hole size is 122 plus or minus 10. So what we can do is put in that equation so we'll say equals the original five thousandths that we had for position plus remember it's the difference in the hole size and the MMC size. So the hole size is here and we'll reference the mean value minus the MMC size. Now I can come back to the drawing and we'll see that the maximum material size is the smallest hole and that is 0.122 minus 10 thousandths or 0.112. So back into my equation say minus 0.112 and hit enter. Now we have to remember that these tolerances are on a diameter but what I want to show in this calculation are plus or minus. So I have to cut this in half. Hit enter. So what we have is a built-in relationship for the hole size and position tolerance. We can run this analysis. Now when we run it, the Monte Carlo engine is going to randomly vary the mean value of the hole size. That mean value, or that selected value, is going to flow into this position tolerance calculation because of the equation we just set up. The whole position is going to vary within its calculated limits based on this new value. The limits are going to adjust with each iteration simulating the relationship between size and position as intended. And here you can see what that chart looks like. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment. 